be showing you my weekly workout routine. Obviously, I just want to say a disclosure before this video. I don't do these exercises every single week. I obviously change it up. I do progressive overload. I do a variety of different things and I work around what's convenient for me and my environment at the time. I don't always have access to the gym. I could be somewhere else. So I do fit in my workout either in my home or at a friend's house, but I never skip. And this is the schedule that I stick to. So straight off the bat, we see Monday, I have my arm day. And then Tuesday, my legs, my glutes all through Friday. But Wednesday, I do incorporate my arms as well. And then on the weekend, I do my abs and I have to incorporate a run either Sunday or Saturday. And the run can be either wherever I am for 15 minutes or on the treadmill in my gym for 15 minutes. Again, I work around what's convenient for me at the time. We do want to get a little insight on some of my workouts and some of the stuff that I do. Then continue watching and you can see the workouts that I did this week. So I'm in the gym and I'm starting off with some seated rows. So when pulling the handlebar, I'm using some of my body to lean back into it and then pulling it back up all the way up to my chest and repeating. So for the second exercise, I'm doing lat pull downs. You want to make sure you're starting with your arms all the way straight up and then pulling all the way back down and keep repeating this. Next up is shoulder press. Again, you want to make sure you're lifting your arms all the way straight up and all the way back down, using all your muscle strength and keep repeating. So third up is the pec fly machine. You want to make sure the palms of your hands are placed flatly onto the handlebars like so and pushing in and out all the way until they touch right in the middle and then back all the way out. So next up for today's arm workout is shoulder taps, so in plank position and tapping your shoulders back and forth like so. Then moving on to 30 push-ups. By now my arms are really feeling the burn and I'm moving on to bicep curls with these 5kg dumbbells. Once I'm done with that, I'm doing overheads and I'm making sure my arms are straight in the air and straight back down. Moving on to my smaller dumbbells, I'm doing wings so my arms are straight out and straight back in. So the last exercise is my 10kg kettlebell swings. So I'm moving the kettlebell all the way in between my legs and all the way back out, keeping my arms nice and straight. Day 
two, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna be doing the workout in my house today. I've been running around all day. Just got home, I didn't even spend the night at my house, so I didn't have a minute to go to the gym today. So I'm gonna be doing my workout in my house today and I'll show you guys my routine for today. Just the fact that I don't have the dumbbells that I normally use at the gym and I'm not gonna be warming up with any machines, I'm gonna be going a little more intense for today's workout and I'm gonna try not to take breaks in between each exercise. So for today's workout, I'm using these two resistant bands. This one is way more resistance compared to this one. Also gonna be using these dumbbells, which are only three kg, so super easy. So let's get straight into the workout. For this workout, I'm going to be doing 75 reps of everything and 75 reps each leg. Right now, I'm starting with donkey kicks, so I have the dumbbell in my knee and the bands, and I'm kicking all the way up and all the way back down, squeezing my glute muscles. Same thing with the other leg, 75 reps. Second exercise is in and out squat, so both my legs going in and out and then I'm squatting back down. I have the heavy resistance band at the bottom and the light one at the top. I just find that works better for me for more resistance and I continue to do the in and out for 75 reps. So next up is fire hydrant, same placement as the donkey kicks, dumbbell in the knee and both resistant bands and I'm kicking straight to the side and I do 75 each leg. So next up is kickbacks, I'm using the resistant bands and I like having a surface I can grab onto for my balance. One leg at a time, I'm doing 75 each, making sure my feet are meeting back in the middle together and my leg is always kept straight. My foot is not touching the floor as it meets back in the middle and my glute muscles are doing most of the work here. Next up is squat, so I have the dumbbells over my shoulders and I'm squatting down with the resistant bands like so. Next up is straight leg kickback pulses, so I'm moving my leg down but not touching the floor and then back up and I'm pulsing it three times as I go back up. My glute muscles are being squeezed here and this is also a great glute activation exercise for you guys. Next up is hip thrust, I'm placing my two dumbbells on my hip and I'm going up with my resistant band right above my knee and really squeezing my glutes as I go all the way up and then back down without my butt touching the floor. Next up is squats with side kicks. I have my dumbbells above my shoulders and I only have one resistant band. There cannot be too much resistance as I need to kick side to side. The 
lastly is squat jumps. There are no dumbbells for this one as it is a jumping exercise and I need my hands to get momentum for the jump. not making it to the gym again today unfortunately tomorrow for sure i will be i have a full routine planned out for today yesterday when i did my workout my resistant band actually broke so i'm going to be using this resistant band and not the other one i'm going to be using the same dumbbells that i used yesterday and i'm also going to be using the barbell today so starting off for today's workout we have squats i'm putting the barbell over my shoulder it's all about you now. Up, I have clamshells so lying on my side on the floor using the resistant band right above my knee and moving in and out squeezing my glute muscles it's all about humanity moving on to the other side the same thing using my glute muscles to squeeze and do all the work. It's all about humanity. Moving on to squat pulses, so with the barbell over my shoulders, going down and pulsing three times and then coming back up. straight lying leg raises so lying straight down on my side on the floor using the resistant band to move my leg up and down right above my ankle using my glute muscles and my legs to do all the work. Next up is lunges so using the resistant band above my knee the barbell over my shoulder going down and up. <laughs> Moving on to donkey kicks, making sure the dumbbell is firmly in my knee. Moving it up and down, squeezing my glute muscles the entire time. Next up is hip thrust, putting the barbell right on my hips and squeezing all the way up and back down before my butt touches the floor. Yeah. 
Moving on to my arms, I'm doing overheads with the barbell, making sure my arms are going straight up and straight back down. Next up is bicep curls, making sure my elbows are staying in the same position and moving my arms up and down. Moving on to wings with my dumbbells, making sure my arms are straight out and straight back in. Now I'm doing shoulder taps. Next up is push-ups. And lastly, finishing it off with the one minute plank. So for this workout, I'm using these 8kg dumbbells. I'm starting off with side lunges on my right leg first. And then moving on to my left leg, same thing. For the second exercise, I'm doing side lying leg raises, so with the band right above my ankles and lifting my leg all the way up and all the way down. And then switching sides. Moving on to squats now, I have both resistant bands and I'm going all the way down and all the way back up. Next up is donkey kicks, moving the dumbbell in my knee and lifting my leg all the way up and all the way back down with both resistant bands above my knee.
moving on with lunges with no resistant band because it is prone to snapping. Next up is deadlift, so with both the weights by my side, going all the way down and all the way back up. And then moving on to single leg arm reaches. This is where my opposite leg and opposite arm go forward and backward. It can be tricky to keep your balance at first. Make sure when your foot meets the other foot in the middle that it is not touching the ground at any time. Next up is single leg hip extension, so it is like a hip thrust but with one leg. Keep in mind that the other side should be lifting all of the other leg's weight. Next up is squat jumps, so make sure you're using resistant bands and not your dumbbells for this jumping exercise. today friday so i have my legs and my glutes and i'm gonna be doing it in my house today i already have my routine which is done on my whiteboard so i can see so let's get straight into this workout so for this workout i'm gonna be using bands and dumbbells so for today i'm starting off with squat pulses so i'm pulsing three times and then coming back up So now I'm moving on to regular squats, so going down and then all the way back up. Now moving on to standing fire hydrants, so I like grabbing a surface to balance on. Make sure you're doing your standard fire hydrant motion and going all the way in and then back up. Next up is donkey kick pulses, so we're pulsing three times and then going back out and you have the dumbo in between your knee. Now moving on to hip thrust with both dumbbells on top, moving in and out, make sure your butt is not touching the floor and then come back up 
and then add a side kick to it. When you do your side kick, make sure you go up and then to the side, and then back down, hip thrust position, down, and then another kick to the side. Now moving on to clamshells just with the band, in and out just using your glute muscles. Look at those gains real fast. I always make sure I have a good diet as well as doing these amazing workouts every week. Now we have jumping lunges, so I'm jumping in and out, switching sides on each leg. Now doing kickback, so grabbing the surface of the wall for balance and kicking back with each leg, making sure when my feet meet together they do not touch the floor at any point. Saturday. Today is my abs day and I do have to do a run either today or tomorrow so I'm choosing to do it today. I normally do the runs at my gym on my treadmill so I know the exact timing and the calories I'm burning but if I'm at my friend's house or for some reason I can't make it to the gym I will be doing a 15 minute run outside. Lucky for me though today I'm going to be doing my run at my gym but to start off I'm going to be doing my ab workout at my house and after that I'm going to walk to my gym and I'm going to do my run. And let's get straight into this workout. So the first exercise is Russian twist. I'm getting in a V-shape and I'm using the dumbbell to tap each side to let me know that I've done one. And I'm making sure my core is engaged and it is twisting side to side to really target those abs. Next up is toe touchers. I'm lying down and I'm using my core to move side to side to touch right above my ankles. And I'm making sure I'm doing each side back and forth and I'm really engaging my abs and my core. Next up is leg lifts lying straight on the floor without my legs or my feet touching the floor. Going down just above the ground, but then lifting up right before I touch to really engage my core and my abs and really feel the burn with this exercise. Try and keep your legs as straight as possible during this exercise to get the best results. Next up is crunches, so with my hands on my head, I like looking up at the ceiling to really get an extra burn in my abs and move forward and always stir up at the ceiling. You say I make you nervous, I try to Moving on to sit up, so make sure your core is engaged and you're going all the way up and all the way down with your hands on your head the entire time. No cheating and lifting your hands up. You think I'm someone to be safe. Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. Next up is leg crosses Lying straight on the ground With your legs above the floor Sing them back and forth Battle scars But it always ends the same Moving on to bicycle crunches Make sure your head is going in Towards each leg as you go back and forth And make sure you're pushing your legs As if you were actually pushing a bicycle and make sure your core is engaged as you're twisting side to side with your head. Guys, that was my quick little Saturday ab workout for you guys. And now I'm going to head to the gym and do my run. So guys, I'm at the gym running on the treadmill now, as you can see. Uh, my time is 6.23, so I've been running for 6 minutes and 23 seconds. And my speed right now is 10. It's always been 10. And I always have it set for 10. So guys, I've hit 14 minutes and 30 seconds. So now, for the last 30 seconds, I'm going to be making the speed 12 and not 10. 
Guys, when you run, make sure you're always focusing on your breathing and you have it under control. I always do this when I do my 15 minute runs. The last 30 seconds, I have to go sprint. So even if I'm doing it outside, I'll make sure the last 30 seconds I give it my all and really sprint it out like I'm doing right now on the treadmill. So as you guys can see, I hit 15 minutes, so I stopped the treadmill now and I'm finally done with my run. So these are my results. My average speed was 10 because I went 10 the entire time except for the last 30 seconds. I had no incline, 15.09 workout time, and my workout distance was 2.53, and the calories I burned was 188. So guys, since the workout at my house was very easy, I'm going to be doing another ab workout here for you guys. So guys, I'm using this seat to do some sit-ups with this weight disc. It gives you more of an incline, so it's way better for your abs. Now moving on to side to side crunches, make sure your legs are really intertwined in the seat so you don't fall out when you're doing these twists. Make sure you're engaging your core and your abs while doing this workout. Now moving on to knee tap sit up, so going down and then side to side and touching each knee back and forth. I'm going to be repeating it three times. So let's get straight into this workout. So starting off, we have leg lifts, lying straight on the floor, legs and feet not touching the floor, going just about down and then coming back up. Make sure your core is engaged in doing all the work. What does love feel like? Next up, we have crunches. Make sure you're looking at the ceiling. Next up, we have bicycle crunches. Make sure your head is turning in with your feet. Next up, we have sit-ups. Make sure your core is engaged. Your hands are on your head and you're going up. Next up, we have Russian twists, so get in your V-shape. Now we have leg crosses. Make sure your legs are crossing over. Now we're on to toe touchers. Make sure you're twisting and your core is engaged. Lastly, we have leg scissors. Make sure you're lying down and your legs are straight, going in and out directly. So guys, that's the end of this weekly workout routine. Hope you guys got a better insight on what I do in a week. Obviously, I don't do the same thing every week, but I do like to stick to the schedule on working those muscle groups on these days. And this was so fun to make. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video and want to see more videos like this on my channel, please subscribe.